be joining me soon. He's just finishing up a lesson. Um, I don't know if Ben's going to join me at all. He's going to come up to the chess club and um, do one of the Game of the Day videos for chess.com. But um, probably he won't get on the stream. Unclear. Let me... Here comes... Hey! hey. I, yeah, I just started. Right. <laughs> Takes so long for people to get on here anyway. So, I wasn't sure what to call... Hey, Southern Chris! I wasn't sure what to call the stream because I want, wasn't sure what we were going to do. <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Give me one second. That's fine. I'll be right on. Yeah. Um, hey, C.L. Smith. How's it going? Southern Chris. My ex-husband's name is Chris. So your name reminds me of him. <laughs> And uh, won't say more on that. Um, yeah, we're doing well. Uh, Spencer's uh, going to join me in a second. He's just in the restroom. He <laughs> he just finished up a lesson. You think Ben is a nicer name than a snake oil, oil scrub? I agree. Um, although nothing wrong with the name, Chris. Um, hey, K2 Hegemon. How's it going? Hey, Output. Um, I was just, uh, hey, Kangaroo. <laughs> I think um, Kangaroo might be my only mod. I'm not even sure. <laughs> um, I think we, we scared off Doodling Dude, or, or when I say we, you. <laughs> Which may not be a bad thing. Uh, I thought he would reach out to me and complain, but I just never, never heard from him again. Um, but <laughs> I, I didn't know what to call the stream because I wasn't really sure what we're doing today. Spencer's been doing uh, teaching a lesson the last hour. And so when I got to the chess club, he was busy. And I can just change it once we discuss it. Uh, <laughs> well, you, you could certainly have a sword, C.L. Smith. I didn't want, didn't want to impose on anyone. And I don't have, you know, tons of people but probably I do need more than one mod <laughs> 45 bands in three minutes kangaroo um, I'm gonna know I'm gonna mod you up CL Smith because I have a feeling you're not gonna complain you just don't seem like you would complain about that <laughs> so I'm gonna do it right now let's see and then I'll have two Yay. <laughs> that way if um, kangaroo's not around and you happen to be around, <laughs> you can help me out. I just modded C.L. Smith. Nice. Because I don't think that we have but like one over here in kangaroo. C.L. Smith is a veteran of our stream. Mostly your stream, but, you know. I and did. he's a mod on Ben's stream. Oh, yeah. And he's that from Alabama. Sense. Well, Stacks. then maybe we shouldn't make it. <laughs> Stacks paper to the ceiling, as Ben would say, etc. Mainly. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, Spencer's been busy. So I wasn't sure what we might do today. Um, let's see. <laughs> oh, yeah, see. I'll, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Snake oil understands my hair is on point. Yeah, so that's why I had to go to the bathroom to comb it. Oh, it, yeah, I like it fluffy, but that's too fluffy though. Um, well, <laughs> <laughs> I like it fluffy. But that's just me riding on twenty-four inch chrome. True. Hey, Ed Karsh, go one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did my emote come out? Oh yeah, it, apparently. <laughs> Nice. Yay. Yeah, kangaroos got it. <laughs> I didn't even know it was out. Yes, they accepted it. Wow. Yay. I need to this make... This is a monumental... Mo I'm glad I was here for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look. I guess it looks all right. What looks should... great. <laughs> I need to make some more. I'm just so busy. I like how obviously it is what it is, you know? Is it obvious? Yeah. Oh, good. To me. 
I had all these um, aspirations to, I had this whip cracking in my head. This is what I was going to do. And then I was going to put my head on a racehorse and then I was going to animate it mm -hmm. and then have like a jockey, you know, flogging me. But it's obviously way too complicated. <laughs> C.L. Smith, uh, Karen actually made it. Yeah, I made it, C.L. Smith. I just, I had a different idea that I didn't make. <laughs> I have to make four more emotes and a badge. Um, that's right, and I'm always, I'm always in time trouble. Um, I do usually have less than eight. <laughs> <laughs> eight seconds means a bull ride. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Um, there's three mods here. Oh, uh, is yeah. Ben a mod? Let me go. Oh, yeah, he's yep. a mod. Yeah, I modded up C.L. Smith. And um, I, next, I guess I'll do a badge and then do the emotes. I'm just so busy. Um, so what did you want to do today? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, you could play some uh, people on the stream. Yeah, I can start out just playing somebody. And then Spencer can maybe analyze the game. And then we can possibly do some opening stuff we're just gonna wing it i didn't really call it anything special so maybe that's fine hey kiff 78 hey um, mt near oh hey mt near i missed you and hey ranja more in games with ben well ben's not even here um <laughs> although i did enjoy those in game puzzles a lot Hey, trying not to learn. Um, yeah, I did enjoy the end games. But, you know, if Ben pops in, we could do some, some more end games. Just have Ben talk slightly louder. <laughs> 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 we'll hear him from home. That's probably true. Um, all right, let me get over here. See, we don't have a lot of people on the stream. Yay, Kangaroo wants to play me. Okay, I'm just going to play just... Just me and Kangaroo. And then we'll figure out what we're doing after that. I need to review all the lessons that Spencer gave. And so I need like a day to do that. <laughs> you mean like a week? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> There's a guy named I am three good. He says, "Go, Karen." <laughs> hey, I am three good. Yeah, it's always a Lunda when Karen's in town. You just moved to Rome, Georgia. Rome, Georgia. Yeah, I went there once. My son was in the Governor's Honors Program, and I dropped him off there, or picked him up, or one of the. Were you just roaming around there? <laughs> yeah. Also, did you do as the Romans? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Had two jokes lined up. Yeah, Rome, Georgia is really pretty. I don't know. I mean, the thing about the chess club, because, you know, we, we obviously have a chess club, um, you need a pretty, you know, somewhat of a high-density population, and I'm not sure that you would have that in Rome, but... That's true. But it, I guess if it's a small, if you have a small scale thing, then that's probably fine. Snake Oil asks if Rome, Georgia is nicer than Rome, Italy. No. I, I've never been to either, <laughs> but I would guess no. Not, <laughs> not even the same league at all. Still theory, says Kiff. <laughs> Kiff knows. Probably wouldn't have gone there if I thought about his night a little bit harder. That's all right, as long as you're playing fast. Oh, I'm not really playing fast. I'm you got more time. Faster than kangaroo. It's because of the new emote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like these decisions, they, they don't matter. Okay. You can make like. So it's all right. Like suboptimal. A little bit of wiggle little, room. Just don't hang the pieces. All right. Yeah. Um. How's it going, John John? 
Yeah, hanging pieces is... Great to see you too, lost kid. No good. He once was lost, but now he's found. Lost kid. I don't know if this was really correct. Indo Queen says, uh, Karen, been trying to say hi to you forever, lol. Hey, Indo Queen. You see me on Ben's channel? How's it going? Are you a, f a female by chance? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Oh, you are? Or no? <laughs> I actually call Karen boss. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even call me boss. That's true. <laughs> Occasionally you do, but. Um, Indo Queen claims that she is a woman or female. At oh, least. okay. Yay. I'll believe it. Yeah. Definitely a possibility. I've never seen you play so fast. It really must be the uh, the emote. <laughs> um, no, but last night on Ben's stream, I, I was so furious. I lost, uh, oh, I almost didn't see that. I almost lost my queen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I lost almost every single game on time. I was winning over the board. Dang. It just, and, and it, not even by a lot of time, by like 0. 0.6 and 0. Mm -hmm. 0.4. I was so furious, but I didn't rage quit or anything. But um, that made me very unhappy. Um, but I understand that it's my fault. I do get it. Indo Queen says losing is learning. <laughs> well, yeah. As long as you're trying your hardest in a chess game, you're always learning. Whether you win or lose, I say. It just made me so mad. I was playing some pretty good chess, too. Wow. Yeah, it's stormy out. Probably because you're playing so fast. Can you guys hear the um, thunder? It startled me during my lesson. The first uh, thunder. Strike. So if I go there and they go here, it's like a tactic, maybe. Let me go over here first. The thunder was to indicate oh. Because I think I might lose my... Grandmaster in the house. No, Should I wouldn't lose. Should the front door be locked? Yeah, I think maybe Archer is either... You might want to make sure he's here. Cause oh, okay. he, he went Never to play food. F6. Great shirt. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're saying they did hear the thunder. Yeah. Out output said so. I mean, maybe Owen. You don't follow what's going on sometimes, Spence. You may be mildly surprised to find out Galfan beat Ding 3-1. Mm, I don't even know what you're talking about. There was a new Magnus tournament. Okay. Galfan beating Ding 3-1 was unlikely. <laughs> yeah, that's like, uh, you know, old school. It, it's a Legends <laughs> tournament. So there's five, there's four Legends and there's four like good players who play now. Mm -hmm. Quote unquote legends are Laco, Kramnik, Gelfand, and Anand. And the four players who play now are Magnus, Giri, Nepo, and, uh, and Ding. Right. And they're playing a round robin of four, ma of four game matches. I'd bet on the, uh, the, the modern players there. Right, and the top four <laughs> players go to the knockouts, so it seems likely it'll be those guys. It's a little surprising uh, that Laco is, is in that. I mean, Laco's great and all, but he just hasn't played in so long. Yeah, he beat Ivanchuk. I don't, oh, there's ten players. That's why I only named eight. Right, I was saying. You, I was just gonna say you didn't even say Ivanchuk. Right, Ivanchuk. So I'm missing one more player. It's a legend too. It's there's six legends and there's four current players. Maybe it's John Legend. Well, let's see who's the. So Kramnik was was beating Nepo. The Nepo one. Classic Nepo. Sviddler. Ah, Sviddler. Sviddler beat Anand in their match. I could have guessed Sviddler. I was trying to think of who it could Sviddler. be. Sviddler. Yeah. But I didn't think of Sviddler. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm going to do my game of the day. And a rag goes in. G Carlson played a novelty today and crushed Geary. Carlson loves playing the Ragozin. Carlson was white. 
Oh. And, and there were goes and he played seven G four and just pushed all his kingside pawns in one. Wow. Yeah. Classic Magnus. Indy says a non de blundered. I believe that. What happened? Hey, I have more time. That's true. <laughs> That's the most surprising thing today. Oh, a hundred bits from Indo Queen. You got this, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Two bishops, what else? Although nobody has two bishops, so so that's what else, I guess. Trying not to learn spamming that uh, faster emote. One of the best Twitch emotes I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I might be overstating it, but... Um, I haven't seen a lot of emotes. Right? <laughs> uh, What's the time control? I believe it was a five-minute game. Yeah, oh. this is not looking good for me now. I think it's looking great. It's not looking good? It's great. It doesn't feel great. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you could still win or a draw. He's got no time. <laughs> no time left for you. On my way to hang all my pieces. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's probably not the right Whatever. thing. I still think you can win. <laughs> nice. Great pre-moving. Stalemate. <laughs> uh, I knew you wouldn't lose it, though. I was actually pretty sure you'd lose. But I would uh, play that move, right? You, yeah. you and my dad talked about this the other day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, queen, yeah. queen g6 would have been the move. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Nice to meet you, too, Indo. Indo queen. Yay, nice to meet you, and Indo. See, once you started pre-moving, immediately stalemate. <laughs> yeah, Not that, related, but that is what happened. <laughs> yeah, that was surprising. Well, I'm s sorry that I robbed that, you know, took that game from you, kangaroo. But, you know, it was pretty, I felt like it was pretty even most of the game. I thought you were better most of the game. Oh, really? Until they started getting in on your king side and you're, you dropped your F-pawn. Yeah, that was no good. Oh, kangaroo wants a brief analysis. Yeah, I agree with All that. All right, I can go for that. Um, yeah, I guess Ben. Yeah, Ben's doing the game. He's in there doing the game of the day right now. So maybe he can jump in though at the end and do some end game stuff. So Bishop G four this early is uh, probably you can punish this move. You know how like they weaken this pawn. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. What I would probably start with is ninety five. Just guessing. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And then I'd continue with C four Queen B three. Okay, yeah, I see. It's sort of important for you to play aggressively when your opponent is, like, just getting their bishop out. Because mm -hmm. otherwise they're going to be really comfortable if they get to go here and move out this bishop and castle. They'll have no problem. Mm -hmm. So you want to cause them some problem. Or they can play, like, more solid, like, e6. And then, uh, well, at least they block their bishop, so they have to do a little rigmarole to get out their white square bishop. So that's why I would say that you should play aggressively with bishop g4. They, you can go like this and that. Yeah. Just assuming that that's correct. Because, like, look at the way that he played here with black. Okay, a6 wasn't exactly necessary. But, I mean, he's just so comfy here, right? Mm -hmm. He can just easily get out his bishop and castle. No structural problems, no weak pieces, no nothing. It's true. I'm not really... I guess... Yeah, I was in the mindset, I'm going to get my stuff all set up, you get your stuff all yeah. set up. <laughs> <laughs> but you can punish them a little bit if yeah, they get I their know. bishop out too early. Just something to think about. Mm -hmm. You played 89. What yeah, percent? I thought it was a pretty solid game. I wonder how I played. 
Probably not 89. Oh, uh, <laughs> the game Han, the game Han? No, Han says I look like a young Stallone. What an insult. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> At least I, I don't act as badly as he does. Um, right? Yeah, it's not an insult. You know? No, I was, I was JK. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I wonder if the light, I can never feel like the light's right in here. Do you think it's too bright or it's fine? I think it looks all right. All right. I'm going to get a different light. Ben complained about the lighting in here, too. You should play E-takes here. You should generally play E-takes when they play CD in a, in a London. Almost always E-takes. The same for uh, Queen's Gambit Declined. Um, you don't want to take this way. Well, you, you would if your knight was here. Well, then you could I... play knight C3. I've seen some um, some players take with C because you've got that the dark squared bishop, which um, you mean yours? Yeah. You're telling me I should take with E in general? Yeah, yeah just generally. But but um, I'm just explaining. I'm not saying it's right. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I usually take with C is because I like to get my rook on that file and mm -hmm. coordinate with my dark squared bishop. I get you. I mean, that seems okay. I like E-takes because it uh, shuts down this knight. You know, if you have your your pawn still here, you control B4, really. Oh, yeah. I would only play C-takes if your knight could go to C3. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, usually you play E-takes. I mean, there are some times you could play C-takes. I, I don't really see this coming to fruition here. He's got the knight there. Even if you did that, it just moves his queen. Mm -hmm. And also, won't he play rook c8 anyway? So I didn't really see that rook c1, bishop c7, or, or rook c7 happening. Yeah. Because, well, yeah, they could play rook c8, bishop d6. You know, that'll shut you down. I mean, I open up on the e-file, too. I'm just saying sometimes mm -hmm. I do the c with that in mind. But, I mean, I, I see what you're saying. It seems like the bishop's mi my light squared bishop is misplaced though if i open up the e file like, that's true because you'd like this half open file but i guess i could boot rook over and then always play bishop f1 <laughs> right or i was thinking bishop d3 but yeah. yeah you played bishop here it's a little passive but you did it to handle this pin right but like i was saying if they pinned me there i would be going really aggressive because i don't want to play like bishop e2 and play solid right so it's sort of like one problem was begating the other okay. in that case i see what you're saying but it's not a big deal. Like, if you play C takes here, as long as they don't have some direct way to play, like, knight b4 or something aggressive, which well, it does doesn't happen. really seem like it's going to happen now. Yeah, I mean, it has happened. It's pretty beginner. Like, I just miss it sometimes where they'll bring the knight in, and they have their light squared bishop on the diagonal, so then they're double attacking C2. Mm -hmm. And if I've already moved my knight... Like, if I haven't moved my knight yet, it's fine because then I can go knight a3. But if I've already moved it, then it's, it yeah. seems to be an issue. <laughs> yeah, you could definitely get in some trouble on the queen I've, side by playing c-ticks. I've gotten in trouble a bunch But it seems already. like it doesn't matter too much here. And as long as you're playing quickly, that's okay. Okay. Indy, I, hey, I did play quicker. Definitely. Indy <laughs> says uh, that I'm nice and are, am I sure that GM Feingold is my father? JK, though, they said. Joking. <laughs> Wait, now let's scroll up. Let me see who's saying this. Indo says this? Is Indy. Oh, Indy. We got an Indo and an Indy. Right. <laughs> oh, let's scroll down and see what happened there. Oh, a yay! thousand bits. That's a lot. Thank you, Nicola. Well, Thanks. and a cool, what is it, a snowman head? Uh, that's pretty cool. Whatever that. I didn't even know that you could do animated emotes. Oh, I guess that comes with the bit. Right, I think it is. Oh, oh yeah, Kif just with the bits. With a hundo. Yay, thank you, Kif. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, um, yeah, there we go. There's Beckner trying out the new emote. Yay. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's already paying off in this game. You played faster. I did play faster. Yay, hey, Storm. Choo choo. More says emotes Indo. coming. I just have to um, bits. get it together and do it. <laughs> But um, yeah. Thank you guys. S J asks oh, Spencer. Oh, there's a hype train. You said the other day that you don't play online chess. How do you stay sharp? Well, uh, I don't stay sharp. I guess <laughs> would be the answer. But I used to still like do tactics, but I kind of stopped doing that recently. 
And I still teach chess lessons and I prepare lectures for the club and such. So, you know, I look at chess here and there, but I wouldn't say that I'm as sharp as I used to be for sure. Yay, Indo Queen. Yeah, we got to train. That was nice. Yeah, you did used to do um, daily tactics. That must yeah. be a recent thing where you didn't stop. Yeah, like in the last couple of months. Yeah, I stopped. well, because also I'm sure, like you were saying, having your students keeps you somewhat sharp. Yeah. But I heard something. Another hundo. Yay. Thank you, Messorin01. Yay, thank you. I know, John John, we got to train. <laughs> Ion Gotti asks if I have a normal job outside of chess. Well, I do work at the chess club, so that's sort of a normal job, but it's inside of chess. So can't really answer the question fully, I guess. Well, the answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess not. He doesn't have a normal job outside of chess. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, working at a chess club is kind of an unusual I, job. I would say, but working like at a, you know, like a hobby store, that would be like a normal job. Like, you know, like if somebody said I work at a comic book store. Yeah. You'd be like, it's a normal job, you know. I As guess opposed so. to like a chess player who, um, like I used to just teach chess online and that would be my only source of income. Yeah. That's okay. a little bit abnormal. I would say. Mm -hmm. Is that rain? No, that's not rain. I guess that's the HVAC. All right, yeah, let's continue through the game a okay, little yeah, bit. Okay, sorry about that. A little diversion here. People kept donating and <laughs> asking a lot of funny questions. Okay, so. So, yeah, this seems like really equal. This was a good idea. I think knight c5 was fine. Yeah. It's, uh, I would have preferred that I could have maybe doubled up, but I didn't. All right, didn't really have the Wasn't time for that. for that. A4 is a great move. Really good stuff there. Really nice. They took here. This is an interesting move. It's like they're sort of trying to win, I think. Because mm -hmm. yeah, they didn't have to do it. But now it's a knight against bishop, so black can try to win. So I like it. Mm -hmm. Queen A3 was great. Yeah, I almost didn't see it. <laughs> that was Yeah, your queen was hanging. Yeah. <laughs> Here I would probably play rook a1 to target the pawn. You played this move, which doesn't look too bad. Oh, we got another 100 bits from Indy. Thank you. Yeah, my idea wasn't any good. Well, I was trying to get it out of the way of my queen so that my queen I could maybe get my rook over to c1. But oh, yeah. Didn't really. Kangaroo says that they were deflecting your bishop away from a6 is why they took here. Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. And theoretically, you could play this move to avoid that, but... You know, your back rank's a little weak there. So, and also, 95 actually would win there, so you can't do that. No, actually, maybe it wouldn't win. Takes, takes. If only I was sharper, I could understand this. <laughs> takes check. Yeah, that's okay. So you theoretically could play that, I guess. Oh, Southern Chris subscribed. Yay, thank you, Southern Chris. And now you can use my the cool emote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, B4 I didn't think was that great. I, mean, I don't. I don't really know what the point of it is, actually. G six is good though, and then you played rook a one, right? Mm -hmm. Then you were worried here about takes and check, but you can actually move away. Yeah, it's yeah, okay. that's right. I realized that after I said that. But still, king h two is not bad. Mm -hmm. Now it's pretty drawish, um, with no pawns on the queen side. The bishop's not necessarily better than the knight. So should I've tried a little bit harder not to? Um... To, um, because we each have, I mean, they're not really completely past pawn, but. Right, I mean, trading the pawns makes it easier for black because you want to have more pawns on both sides of the board when you have the bishop. So, yeah, it, okay, that's so why. I probably I, shouldn't have done that. Probably it's like though. going here and there might be better. I don't know, it should still be pretty drawish, though. Okay. Thank you, Ron Jovan, for gifting a sub to L. Cohen. Yay. Yeah, this was bad because then they check you. Yeah. And then you lose your F pawn. Uh, you have to go here. Then they could force a draw by checking and going back. Right. So I would go here then because I like to win even when I'm losing. <laughs> Especially because you got more time at this point, a whole minute extra. Yeah. 
I knew he was going to check me, but... But why didn't he take it? I don't yeah, know. I don't remember now. He played here to stop g4, which he played anyway. Right. So yeah, h5 was a blunder. Because rook takes f2 is just winning, I think. That was good. Here you should probably play g5. Okay. And then knight f7, rook a7. Hmm. I don't know. King f8. Maybe you'll still lose that pawn. Yeah, f5 was a good move by black. Because I don't really know. Maybe you could just do nothing. Or ignore it. Like, just play, like, for example, rook a6. f5 was a good move. It's kind of tough to handle. Because now you're going to lose your pawn, maybe. No, no, you can play king g2, knight check, king g3. And you're okay. Yeah, so this is okay. Taking is fine. Taking on G on F5 was fine like you did. But yeah, now you lost your pawn again. You had to go here. You can't lose it. Yeah. Oh, but then this. Then this. What am I talking about? There's this, though. So yeah, you actually lost the pawn anyway. So F5, I still can't figure out how to handle it. It's too strong. So what was wrong with G5? You suggested G5, uh, he'll play here, and your pawn is pretty weak on G5. Oh, yeah. I was thinking you could pin it, but then he'll just move away. And then your pawn's hanging. That might still be best. But yeah, this ends up losing a pawn. Because here it's 93. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's kind of tough for you at this point. F5 was good. F5 was really tough. And then you, you lost this pawn. Hey, Pam. Yeah, then you're busto. It seems like I shouldn't have um, gone up in, in the little pawn cave, I'm going to call it. <laughs> oh, you mean like with your king? Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have. Yeah, I mean, usually you want your king up in the end game, so that's good in general. But the problem was that you're uh, you're gonna lose your f pawn by force. Mm -hmm. And I was worried about all the knight checks, actually. But yeah, your bishop is kind of a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, if your bishop was like even here, that would be better. Yeah. Because then you can answer check with king f three. Okay. So yeah, your bishop wasn't too good. That's why I liked when when kangaroo took bishop takes f3 because in, in this position your bishop's not great oh we're losing internet see it's flashing here uh -oh. that means we're losing internet Did hopefully we we're still we're still live here <laughs> but yeah the thunderstorm is i think affecting it yeah but i don't know the hype train's still active hmm seems like people oh it's still up still up all right awesome um, but yeah they can see the flashing yeah things so they know it's not it's not working exactly right well, we can refresh this. Yeah, refresh the screen. I mean, the game will go away. But... All right. Yeah, that still works. So maybe it's just for a second. Yeah. We're all right still. Awesome. Thanks, mm -hmm. Pam. Two gift subs, it looked like. Was it just two? Oh, still thank nice. you, Pam. I heard noises and I don't multitask very well. Yeah, it was two. Thank you, Pam. Uh, for a total of four. <laughs> nice. Yay. Really cool. Yeah, and we have one emote in mm -hmm. case people haven't noticed. <laughs> and they don't let you just upload them like I'm not a partner. For Ben, I can just make him an emote and upload it, and five minutes later it's there. But it took him a day to get it get it here. Don't show that final <laughs> position. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll just go here. Yeah, we got to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Queen G6 the is the The funny thing is, in my mind, Kangaroo, I'm still thinking I lost, which I know I drew, but it it was a loss in my mind. Anyway. To me, it would be like a win, because I didn't uh, lose when I should have. I was mad so. because I mishandled um, the ending there, and so well, I'm hard on myself. At least you played faster, and you <laughs> played well. I did play faster, yay. It, maybe it was the the new emote. I think it was. Hey Z Z L one Corvette. I gotta get your name right. I mean, just call him Corvette. Z L one Corvette. Can I just call you Corvette? That's what I would do. <laughs> I always just say like half their name. Cause that's easier. I'm not about to say like the whole name. You know, I, I got a lot. Of, I got too much stuff well, on my plate for that. I call Pam. I call Pam Pam. And I call kangaroo kangaroo, so I don't say his. And I call output output. Endo's already being called Endo. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Endo. Oh, Corvette gifted a tier one sub. Yay! To thank, the Master John. 
Oh, hey, Master John. Thank you, Corvette. You can, you know, request to be called something different if you don't like me nicknaming you. Because everyone... Yeah, I'll play you, Pam. Everyone should be called what they want to be called in life, you know, within reason. <laughs> um, yeah, you got a couple challenges here. You notice how Master John... I actually know Master John in real life, so... I'll shorten his. He was uh, exposed because, uh, you know, he got the gift sub. So, you know, he was just like quietly watching. Oh, but, yeah, but then yeah. Now Lurking. He has to participate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I owe you. I owe you a message, Master John. I apologize. Oh, I'm, the Smoky PD one. I'm not blowing you Prime. off. I'm just extremely busy. Who who did what? The Smoky PD one subscribed with Twitch Prime. Oh, let me see. Twitch Prime is like you only get one Twitch Prime Yay. sub. Yay! So that's like that you're really special if they Twitch Prime sub to you. Okay, yeah, trying to learn. Pinky Jim. Well, this um. hype train's getting out of control. We can't even keep <laughs> up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see how he's spelling it. Okay, the Smoky Petey one. That's a very interesting name. Yeah, I could play you, Pam. Did Pam, uh, did Pam you know challenge what is your um i don't think pam's either of these people definitely what? not kiff <laughs> or azurus probably should just do one the hype train no running off the rails yeah <laughs> seriously so um poetic you stuck with the theme extended <laughs> metaphor my real name is william and everybody always asks what to call me i have no opinion makes him decide yeah william does have a lot of nicknames some bill yeah that is true bill william will <laughs> pam pamela hewitt or hewitt hewitt i'm gonna say well i have to call you pam though <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't like it you can you know convince me otherwise willie <laughs> Thank you, Jay Copper, for those 55 centidues. All right, well, let me play somebody. Pam, I don't see you up here. Maybe uh, maybe you should give Kiff a game. So, Kiff, here we go. Let me see if I can go fast again. My That's my one goal in life. Get a French going here. King's Indian attack French. I heard a noise. Yay, uh, Indo. Indo. With a bunch of, a bunch of uh, one, one bits. So many I can't figure out. And hearts and everything. King's Indian attack here, huh? Um. All right, let's see. Yeah, already, uh, already at level four. I'm behind on nice. time already. <laughs> That's true. Yay, level four. Almost as good as level five. <laughs> yeah, I like to get some ladies on the stream. It's hard to find women that like uh, chess. That's true. Mm -hmm. There was this other woman, it was Lady something lady was and she disappeared i'm pretty sure she was a lady sad sad if true well i'm sure probably pop back up i'm just saying she was more frequently on the stream before um and then i have to go back well you'll never get mated if your knight's on f8 so <laughs> That's fine. But then you can't always play bishop f8. So, you know, it's sort of a uh, give and take there. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Thoughts on Elliot Smith? Hmm. Who? Yeah, that's what I was, uh, that's my thought. <laughs> Elliot, Elliot Smith. Smith. That does he sound familiar, down. but I don't really know. Uh, Singer, songwriter? Yeah, I just don't know. I'm sorry. Are they they a recent singer songwriter? It does sound a little familiar. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I can't. Oh yeah. 
Wait, no, no, no. I, I don't. Is output right? I don't think that's that's right. What? That they were referenced on Rick and Morty, unless output's talking about something else. Oh, he is right. Yeah, I remember the tiny Rick when he's listening to the music and he's like, "I'm sad. I'm old. I'm really old. I'm not young." But yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that song or who Elliot Smith was. But um, I could definitely look him up. Yeah, how could someone so talented die so young? Dang, that was a good move. If it's free, it's for me. I missed part of that. Did you figure out who it was, Elliot Smith? Yeah, Elliot Smith is a singer songwriter. And they they talked about him on uh, on Rick and Morty oh, in the Tiny okay. Rick episode. Oh, okay. Tiny Rick. Yeah, that was a good episode, Tiny Rick. I do like sad music. I was listening to the radio. And uh, the station was like, the number one station for your feel-good music. And I was like, this isn't the station for me. <laughs> Play some Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> Pickle Rick was pretty good. I don't know, I liked the Tiny Rick episode more than Pickle Rick. But I did like Pickle Rick. Favorite Radiohead album? Probably In Rainbows. Mine is In Rainbows, they said. <laughs> yeah, In Rainbows is really good. But I don't know, it's tough to decide between that one and uh, OK Computer. It's like they're neck and neck. You know, Paranoid Android is a great one. Great song. Like, that's my favorite Radiohead song. Mm-hmm. What is that? It's just my Perrier bottle. Oh, that I'll was... throw it out. No, no, it was just <laughs> no, a weird noise. <laughs> I just couldn't figure out what it was. They just want your attention. The Benz is pretty good too, but uh, I don't know. It's maybe my fourth favorite album of theirs. I mean, they have so many good songs. It's like, what are you going to do? Like Father, Like Son, go Perrier. Let's see. I'm tickly. Why does Ben only drink Perrier? I think he drinks other stuff, like iced tea. Darn, okay, let me go back. And I'm a little bit lower on time. Yeah, don't forget about that emote. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Nisano55. Did me and my brothers get along when I was younger? I don't have any brothers. Unless you're referring to my stepbrothers, Holden and Archer. In which case, I didn't know them when I was younger. <laughs> they wouldn't have gotten along. <laughs> <laughs> That's possibly true. Because yeah, none, none of you, you know. Can... Yeah, he drinks the pink stuff from Starbucks, does my father. That's true. So he doesn't only drink Perrier. Archer is my stepbrother, yes. My father married his mom. That's how it works. Also Holden, yes. Let's 
Let's see. I'm a little scrunched in here. <clears throat> How old when you got, were you when Ben and Karen got married, and was it weird? Um, it wasn't weird. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, you got married in what, two thousand thirteen or so? No, two thousand fifteen, maybe. Yeah. I don't even remember. Um, I don't know, it was about five years ago. We started dating in two thousand fifteen. Oh, okay. And then we got married end of 2016. So uh, I must have been uh, 26 or so. So, yeah. Wasn't uh, wasn't too weird. <laughs> oh, I, mean, but... I didn't think so. No, I mean. Is positional chess more important than tactical chess, I think was what it said? No. Obviously not. <laughs> Definitely not. Hmm. Kid A is pretty high up on the list there, in my opinion, Seth. A moon-shaped pool is cool. I mean, why do you have Hail to the Thief so low? Kangaroo says play faster, Karen. Yeah. And then obviously. emoted you. Got that emote going. Right. Your number one Radiohead album is its greatest hits. I don't like greatest hits albums. <laughs> Don't forget to pre-move. Pre-move. Pre now you're talking. That's what we. That's what the crowd wants to see. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I mean, I can't Dang. even. Oh. That was a good attempt, though. Yeah. Darn. A handsome boys agrees that you should pre-move. I know. That is an issue. Now let me check my little message here. Oh, okay. That is good information, C.L. Smith. Um, yes. Now, I guess as long as I don't read it, though, I, it's not my fault, right? Right. <laughs> Hi, Pam. But it is good to know that, C.L. Smith. Thank you for that little note. <laughs> um, J.R. asks if everybody in Atlanta is crazy about Coca-Cola. And what would happen if they ordered a Pepsi? All I wanted was a Pepsi. Yeah, we need to add some commands in, though. Um, you know, this mm -hmm. stream is... I streamed a while back, and I didn't stream for a while. Thank you, Kiff78, for the game. I'm sorry that I didn't say GG and thank you. <laughs> I was so caught up in my own disappointment. <laughs> but... Um, Kid is a little more a matter of taste. The album is Kid A. Oh, okay. Oh, Kid A. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Thank you, Trying to Learn. Yeah, I don't even know if I... Um, yeah, I don't think I've done anything in Nightbot. I guess maybe a little bit of Moobot work. But shouldn't be too hard to do. Thank you for your help, Trying to Learn. Oh, I forgot he's a mod here, too, obviously. Hey, I have three mods, four mods. Wow, that's a <laughs> lot of mods. Yeah. Hey, um, Jasper 1303 um, Yay, Indo. Ladies, stick together. Well, Pam, you mm -hmm. can still see me here on, on this stream, so it's all right. What's she saying? She said she missed my stream. Aw. That is nice. Well, you could reboot your stream. I could, mm -hmm. but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. It's time consuming to stream, obviously. Yeah, I already have a, a normal job, remember? <laughs> <laughs> or a not normal job. Um, I've had normal jobs. I used to be a program, computer programmer. So I taught myself, I was an English literature major. Then I taught myself to program, and I did that for 10 years. 
And um, I was pretty good at it, but it was Did you want to analyze the scam, boring. by the way? Yeah, definitely. Let's do that right now. Um, Moobot is still connected. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. So C6 isn't great. Um, like, it's solid, but you should attack on the queen side, so you want to play, like, C5 and mm -hmm. and knight C6. See, when you castle early against the king's Indian attack, yeah, they're going to attack your king like Kif did. They're going to play E5 after the castle. They're going to play H4, H5. They're going to move their rook and maneuver their knight in here, and then they'll checkmate you. I've done this many times with white in Blitz Chess and, and in slow games, too. Mm -hmm. So uh, in order to, well, play the position competently, you have to attack on the queen side. Okay. So you got to go like c5, knight c6, b5, b4, a5. Like you got to get crazy over there, especially like when they close the center, which they will do. Then you got to go really aggressive on the queen side so that, you know, you can defend your king, but then if their attack doesn't work, then you can win on the queen side. Okay. The way the game went, they can attack you basically for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did Because didn't, you didn't get a lot of attack on the queen side. I didn't have a clear plan at all. I don't really like rook e8 either. That move I liked. <laughs> yeah, this is, these are like all the standard King's Indian attack moves. Okay. And yeah, knight g6 wasn't good because they want to play this anyway, like I was mentioning. And so you sort of ran into it. Mm-hmm. And then this, yeah, this is what I was mentioning. So yeah, now you played c5, which is good. By the way, I probably wouldn't play d4. I don't really think that's necessary. You could just play like this with mm -hmm. white. No, why do you not like d4 for white? Well, now that you can attack the center with c5. Oh, okay. And instead, like, they should be attacking your king. They could even, I guess, try like this. It's pretty rare to see that, but maybe it looks like you could attempt to do that. But anyways, you have to attack on the queen side, so you should be doing like this and attacking them with c4. So um, playing d4 just helps you attack them. Okay, yeah. Or playing d4. I don't know what I said. But playing d4 helps you attack with c5. But still looks good for white. Though I don't know about queen c2. a5. See, yeah, this is what you should be doing, yes. Yes, definitely. You just wasted some time. Like, mm -hmm. rookie 8 isn't useful. Playing knight here and then back isn't useful, obviously. Playing c6, then c5, wasted tempo. So you're a little slow on the draw here. I like knight g4. Oh, you got a noise. GM Ben Feingold um, gifted a tier one <laughs> sub. Thank you, GM Benjamin Feingold. <laughs> uh, Bishop a6 probably is what I would do. But, I don't know, it looks kind of scary for you. They might sacrifice. And... Yeah, I was worried about all that. Yeah, but that's what you get when you're black against the King's Indian attack. This was a blunder. They just missed. You could take it, I think. And now you're winning. Here you could take this pawn. It looks like they're going to trick you with a discover, a check, discover, attack your queen. Mm -hmm. But that's okay because you can play knight takes defending your queen. Um... Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, Let's so see. you could take. Yeah. I was worried. That's why I didn't take the pawn. Mm -hmm. um, no, I understand. And that's I what I was thinking, yeah. too. I was like, oh, queen e2 is tricky. And then I was like, no, wait, it doesn't even work. Then I, fe I felt like I was about to get trapped, too. I wasn't sure. That was good. Trading queen should help you, so that I agree. Yeah, I would be playing this move every move because your bishop would be really good here and it's bad here. And that was actually the whole reason I moved those pawns up was to mm -hmm. make room for the bishop. And then I just never did. <laughs> now here you were thinking a long time. You were like, I don't want to play knight h7, but this move looks kind of scary too, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you have to play here. I mean, you can't really. Right. You can't play knight h7. I hate messing up my pawns. Well, that's true. You shouldn't like that. But you <laughs> should hate this more. Yeah, I hated that too. <laughs> <laughs> but peace activity is more important than pawn structure, okay. almost always. All right. Like, it's very rare that it's not. Now, there's a variation I was calculating while you were thinking about it. Takes, mm -hmm. takes, knight f2. Mm -hmm. Knight f2 tries to win your pawn. 
You could play f5 defending it. Yeah. Then they'll take on Passant. Right. Then knight takes defense it. Oh, yeah. So you actually don't lose the pawn in that variation. And it puts everything in better position. Yes, exactly. Your knight would be... Even your bishop's better yeah, if your pawn is there. Darn. And then you can get your rook in there. Yeah, you got to play actively. Yeah. As active as possible. I didn't say all that. <laughs> and even here, still bishop a6 would be good. This looks all right. A4... I didn't understand that at all. Maybe that was even a mouse slip because a3 sort of made sense. Mm -hmm. Nice, bishop a6. Yeah, you're doing all right here, but your knight's really bad, so I would that would be my top priority is to get my knight out or play f5 or f6 mm -hmm. to try to get your knight out, although never play f6 like my dad's shirt says. <laughs> <laughs> the bishop's pretty good, though. Yeah, now here your pawn is hanging, so you have to deal with that. That rook c5 was it. too strong. Yeah, I think this move was a mistake because it allowed rook c5 that was too strong of a move. Wait, um, go back a minute. I'm sorry. Which move? You played here, but I think that's a mistake because it allowed rook c5. See, your knight's covering that square, so you don't you don't oh, want oh, it that, in that case. Oh, okay. Rook c5 was really good because you don't want to take. That would give them a, a pass pawn. Yeah, and I'd have to move the knight again. Yeah, then they could get behind their pawn, play bishop here. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could play this move. Oh, yeah, that's a good move. I just saw it now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would have been nice. Oh, yeah, that would be good. little x-ray. <laughs> you don't see that every day. Yeah. Unless you go to the unless you're a doctor, you know, a radiologist. But yeah, now you're losing for sure. Yeah, I just didn't even see that hanging a pawn. But then it got crazy at the end. I mean, like it seems like they're just playing fast here. Cuz now you're like winning again cuz they hung the pawns. And actually, you were already up a pawn, so maybe you weren't losing. Like here, when you lost your pawn, you already won the G-pawn, so maybe you're not losing here. Because mm -hmm. you blockaded this pretty nicely. Yeah, so it could be playable. You got a break on the king side. This was good. You got to do that. Yeah, you got a break on the king side because you got more pawns on the king side. Remember that endgame you and I had in the hand and, hand and brain? Mm -hmm. Where you were up a pawn on the king side, but you never pushed him? Yeah. But now you can do it. Yeah, that's how you got to do it. When you have more pawns on one side of the board, you got to push them. Okay. But then you just took all your opponent's pawns. That was good. But, yeah, you don't have any time here, so you're going to lose. This was good. But, yeah, now it was just you only had four seconds. So, <laughs> I mean, you'll win with this move if you have more than four seconds. Yeah. Oh, Pinky Thank gifted you, another sub. Thank you, Pinky Jim. I nice. appreciate it. Thank 200 you, Sensitives. GM Benjamin Fine Gold, for 200 Sensitives. <laughs> yeah, Bishop C2 was a good move there. I didn't see it during the game. I only saw it now on, upon further reflection. Yeah. But yeah, definitely an interesting game. But you got to play more aggressively on the queen side when they're playing a King's Indian attack. Mm -hmm. You know about King's Indian attack? Not really. It's just this, basically this setup here. Like this. Okay. That's a King's Indian attack. And, and people do this against the French. It, it's pl very playable against the French. We did have a train, but it's gone. <laughs> it went to level four? Yeah, level four. Mm -hmm. Yay. I'm happy for level four. <laughs> hey, did Ben see... Did you see the, my new emotes out, Ben? Yeah, new emote. Faster. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, oh, he you said used he used it. it. Okay. <laughs> Ogdenville, North Haverbrook. Yeah, the, the, they're on the map. The The monorail put them on the map. Where's the Ogdenville? Kangaroo said. Oh. Right here. Yeah, but I'm saying, where is it? Oh, oh. Uh, that's, I, I don't know if they're, yeah, I don't know if they're real places, <laughs> oh. right? They might be. <laughs> you sent a challenge trying to learn one, two, three, four? What? Uh, we'll believe it when we see it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, there they are. It's GM 10 Benjamin minutes, Feingold. though. You know that my memory is, you know, suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> um, yay, I'm glad Indo Queen got a gift sub. 
from Pinky Jim. All right, well, let me see. Try, okay, I gotta play try and learn. Oh, 10 minute, come on. <laughs> All right, that's trying to learn. Is trying to learn the one who said that? I thought trying to learn said that. Let me see. Oh, no, trying not to learn said it. Trying not to learn is Azarus. No, trying to learn says I oh, sent you a challenge. They Karen. both did. Oh. <laughs> they both sent you a challenge. Well, I mean, trying to learn, obviously, I'm slow and old. <laughs> I, can, I can't do a 10-minute. And you know that I, would, I love, listen, when I play over the board... I don't know if you remember this, Trying to Learn. We, we saw Trying to Learn at World Open, so we know him in real life as well. And, you know, my games go five hours. I'm going to use every minute, but I can't do a ten-minute. Yay, there's the five-minute. Thank you. <laughs> do you want to do um, – I'll just play him. I'll just play him again. Yeah, especially if it's rated, so he can't do Oh, it is rated. Him. Okay, here we go. Trying don't to Learn. Don't forget to play faster. All right, here we go. Yeah, five minutes fine. It's just 10 minute, um, it's hard to do in this format, you know. <clears throat> I don't even like to do 10 minute, like when Ben has the um, tournaments. Little exchange French, huh? Yeah, <laughs> people like it. When should I not play the French? Is that a question? Uh, I don't know if you don't want to play it. You know, you don't have to. Who said that? Oh, height down. I don't know. I mean, I find myself having to play F6 a lot in the, mm -hmm. in the French. But um, otherwise, it seems fine. Oh, yeah. If you have white, you shouldn't play the French. Or if your opponent doesn't play one E4, <clears throat> then uh, it's kind of tough to play the French. And it seems like one of the other thing I don't like about the French is... When I do that, then I'm like it's struggling. Your turn, by the way. Oh, struggling! Oh, I didn't even know. Struggling <laughs> the whole game to protect um, my e6 pawn. Well, you don't have to worry about that in the exchange, French. That's true. <laughs> uh, get it over here. Oh, rumbly tummy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the thunder. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of that Imagine that I know you hate Imagine Dragons, but it does remind me of that song. Don't they have one like somebody thunder? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> the only Imagine Dragons I know is the Sic Sicilian Dragon. Um. Archer loves that band. Mm. Well, we all make mistakes when we're young. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Sometimes people still try to French me when I play D4. You mean they try to, like, kiss you? Because, uh, you know, that's harassment. But, yeah, they could play D4, 1, E6. And then you could play the French or not. You know, you could play C4, Knight F3. So, you know, you got options. Saying trying to learn learned about punishing the bishop move. Mm-hmm. All right, let me go back. <clears throat> yeah, I used to like to play d4, 1, e6, um, even though I wasn't really a French player because uh, there was that game that Alyakin beat, Bagulyabov, famous game, and Alyakin played 1, e6, and then he played, like, bishop b4 check and f5 and stuff. So, uh... I knew that game really well at the time, and it inspired me to play one e6 against d4. But yeah, I would kind of have a problem. I just was hoping people wouldn't play two e4, <laughs> and they never did. <laughs> Nobody would ever play two e4, so it wasn't a problem. But if they ever did, then I would have had to uh, make up some French theory, I guess. I mean, I studied it a little just in case, but I didn't really know it very well. I think I only played one tournament game in a French, with black, I mean. Maybe two, actually. Yeah, one or two. Perhaps three. Perhaps. The queen sack game, yes, yeah. He sacrificed like three queens that game, I think. 
He kept promoting to a queen and sacrificing it. He liked to sacrifice the queen. But not for... Not for queens or not for games in the French. Either way. Probably correct. <laughs> God, that is terrible. All right, I'm going to play on. Why didn't I see that? Painful. And I can't even go there. You were just inspired by the queen sacrifices we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> right. Bye, Pam. Is Pam leaving? Seems like it. Oh, bye. But um, two bishops, what else? That's true. Yeah. Bishop's pair is bishop's pair. Let's see what to do. How do you crush the Benoni? Well, you can't. It's impossible. It's too good of an opening. But you can uh, check out my my lecture today, tonight, mm -hmm. at 7 o'clock Eastern Time, if you want to see how to play with black in a Benoni. Or white, I guess. Darn. Okay, I'm going to get away from here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was so dumb. Class. I don't really have my commands set up. All right, that's for his stream. It would be mm -hmm. X-Climb class. But, I mean, I'm on Mo I have some Moobot hooked up and everything. Um, and trying to learn so it'll help me get some stuff going on. <laughs> After he's done winning, I guess. Yeah. Still theory. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. Yeah. Darn, and I have almost no time. That's also true. Oh yeah, GM Ben Feingold uh, put the put the link for the class tonight. Now you can learn all about the Benoni. That's we'll, right. We'll be looking at seven knight d two, as well as variations where White plays f three. Even though never play f three, but somebody's got to do it. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> Fork down. All right, I'm gonna have to resign on that one. Tough uh. but fair. Good game trying to learn. Yeah, I saw it as soon as I went, ah, fork town. Yeah, I didn't do so well then. But you did great trying to learn not to take away from your victory. <laughs> I don't want to pull a Nakamura and say, oh, I played crappy and that's why you won. Cause obviously, that's not true. But in addition to the fact that you played well, I played crappy. <laughs> <laughs> both can be true, yes. That's true. Both can be true. <laughs> I hate that when people um, are very ungracious, like th at the high level, and they don't, um, they and they always have excuses for why, rather than just uh, congratulating their opponents. But um, well, if they're saying they played badly, that's not really an excuse. It depends on how they phrase it. If if they don't really say um, anything nice about the other guy, and all they do is talk about. How badly they played, it just comes across as ungracious. I can see view. that. Yeah, you don't want to make it sound like the only reason the other person 
one, even if it's true, <laughs> is <laughs> because you played badly. Mm-hmm. Um, Tough but fair indeed, Kiff. <laughs> Hikaru Nakamura Sportsmanship Award. He seems, you know, much better sport than when he was younger. Um, not to say he's perfect, but I'm just saying I do think he's improved. <laughs> I yeah, I needed to get rid of that emote on Ben's channel. Okay, Botez is live streaming a Trump press conference. Frankly, terrible. Is that true? Um, she was um, streaming his interview with Chris Wallace the other day as well. Um, let's see. It's trying hmm. to learn. It says, it is always the case that the loser played worse. That is true than the opponent. That's, that's not even an excuse. Seth says, Naka and Magnus are the worst offenders there. Uh, Probably referring to saying that they're mm-hmm. playing badly. Kiff says, frankly, WTF. Height down says, Tal or Karpov. Well, that's confusing, says Output. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, I mean, maybe that's not the worst thing to live stream Trump. I think she, you know, is not a Trump lover. Um, Surprise. But, um, so she's probably just critiquing the press conference. I wonder if Trump has on a mask. <laughs> right. Um, sometime winners. Well, what should we do? Let me see what time it is. It's 520. 5.20. Um, we could do some kind of short lesson on something. Like on Nigel Short. <laughs> or continue to do some free play and Spencer can do some analysis. Um, isn't Botez in Portland right now? No, she actually um, went back to New York. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we should review it, actually. You want to review that one? The game? Yeah. Oh, all right. I thought, you know, you hung your queen, so. <laughs> well, Trying to Learn was asking about it. Um, how do I get it back open? Um, I X'd it out. Is it like one of these, like this? I did it. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that it was still there. So that was, I learned something new. Yeah, we can do that trying to learn. There's still learnable stuff, even though I hung my queen. We can learn something. C6 isn't really uh, the move. You can either play knight f6 or check. Check is kind of like a drawing way to go. Okay. Um, C6, you don't really need to do that, right? Like, knight f6 develops a piece. Like, you should develop your pieces. Oh, okay. So if they take, then... Um, knight takes. Just knight takes. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering about it. I wasn't sure. I don't like h6 in the spawn structure, as we've discussed. I know. As soon as I went, oh, yeah, he's going to come find me. <laughs> I mean, I was yeah. just trying to hurry. That's all right. Here, yeah, this is where later in the game... Like, pretty soon, he played queen b3 to, like, target you. Mm -hmm. And it's because you played bishop f5. I don't know if bishop f5 is bad here, but Mm -hmm. um, could be. Well, he took here. I mean, that might be okay, but couldn't he have done this first, even? And then you're forked? I guess he was afraid of... Or preventing it in at least knight b6. Not really anything to be afraid of. Mm-hmm. So he took here first so that if you play knight takes, then this move would fork. No, it wouldn't because this is just defended. See, I don't really know why bishop takes f6. I probably wouldn't do that. I think I would just go here. The knight would move here because you got to defend both things. Mm-hmm. And then just continue playing the game with white, like putting stuff on the c file or e file. Okay. So I don't really know about this. Your opponents always play bishop takes knight there. Your, your other guy did it too, the other guy. It does seem to be pretty common. I don't like giving away two bishops. Mm-hmm. And then uh, always do that. But yeah, now queen b3 strong. So you had to sort of anticipate that. So you put, you got loose pawns. Yeah. This pawn right here is attacked and defended twice. So I call that a loose pawn. Mm-hmm. And this is attacked and defended zero times. 
So queen b3 is targeting them both. So if you want to prevent that, it would be like knight e4. Yeah. Or you could play like a passive move like this. I don't really like to, but you could, I guess. But yeah, now you're sort of in trouble. You could just give up the b pawn like you did. And then play rook b8. Mm -hmm. Takes, takes. You're still down a pawn, but at least like your rook is a little good. Yeah. They could probably like kick you away, but their knight's good here, so maybe they don't want to move it away. Mm -hmm. And then you could play here attacking their knight. I don't know, it seems like it's bad for you, but you know, gotta do something. Yeah. Gotta nuke something. <laughs> but yeah, this was the blunder. This is the only queen move I think is here. Otherwise, uh, you you lose your queen. I think. I mean, I don't do you know. Don't even understand why I didn't see that. Yeah. Also, when this is like a pattern, you should know when the knights are here, they cover all these squares. Yeah, like that. That's yeah, how it is. Yeah, I don't know that pattern. Like what? Well, now you do. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, the knights are here. They control all these squares. That's all. It's like a lot of times you can checkmate that way. Like, if it was a king, it would be mate. Oh, there's four. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can remember that one. I got it. But yeah, now it's <laughs> uh, it's over now. Yeah, that was bad. Also, you were like, I don't want to move my rook. I'll lose my pawn. Come on, you're not a queen. Who cares about that? <laughs> like, you got to get active, you know? Got to okay. try something. But yeah, you didn't have a lot of time, and you're down a queen, so it didn't matter too much mm -hmm. at that point. All right, well, I did actually learn from the game anyway, in spite of that. So, now what are people saying? <laughs> Talking about Trump. Oh, we are united in our effort to defeat the invisible China virus. <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's not even invisible. Like, it's just very small, like most viruses. <laughs> it's yeah. not invisible. Like, you could see it with the, the right equipment. <laughs> Let me see what else. Um, you were hoping for bishop takes to allow, to allow the, fork. the fork. Oh, when you took on f6. I, let me, I can, uh, I didn't really notice that. Yeah, I don't, I mean, that's so, I don't understand why he insists on calling it the this. China virus. Just to foment racism. I mean, <laughs> what is. Somebody's got to. <laughs> I mean, Bishop takes just hangs the pawn outright. Yeah, so, you know, right. So that's she why wouldn't I didn't really do that. consider that. Yeah. But um, if if that's what you're talking about, which I think it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, you know, not going to do that because of the pawn. But what for? Oh, you're saying. I think still Queen B three, right? That's what he's talking about. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't understand why uh, Trump likes Bowie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hopefully, um, you know, he'll be out in November. Might take us a couple months to get him out of the White House. <laughs> right. <laughs> but then he'll be out. Um, but, yeah, strange. And then mark my words... Oh, it will take until January 20th? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, you know, Melania will leave him as soon as they're out of the White House. I guarantee you that she's given her some additional money not to leave until after they're out. I can't imagine that she would. But they were together uh, before he was president. Yeah, but you know, they have a child together. They didn't He's to older now. She's done. I mean, come on. Uh, I can't imagine. Um... She <laughs> um, <laughs> outfit says, um, how long do you think it'll take to get that Cheeto stink <laughs> out of the <laughs> Um, probably a while. <laughs> um, you don't think trying to learn you think that she'll you think she'll just ignore him um it's a beautiful smell says ranja we're not friends so i can't play we're not friends on on uh 
Well, you can send me a friend invite, Pam, if that's what you're talking about, or maybe you're talking to somebody else. <laughs> I accepted some friends on your behalf. Oh, so. was she one of them? I don't know. It's um. I know. <laughs> oh, was that one? I, of them? I couldn't read it oh. from here. Okay. Um, trying to learn, trying not to learn. One, two, three. Yeah, I guess we won't do like a coordinated lesson today. I think this is working out fine anyway. We play a little bit casual. Spencer does a little review, a little bit of chatting, uh, making fun of Trump, etc. <laughs> <laughs> but he did really well on that test for uh, people with dementia. Trump? Yeah, he passed the dementia test. Yeah, it is. Meaning that, that he doesn't have dementia. Mm. Which uh, is surprising to me, but, well, what do I know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know that he seems like he has dementia. He just seems nutty. <laughs> he correctly identified an elephant. <laughs> yeah, that's part of the test. <laughs> oh, yeah. I did see part of that interview where Chris Wallace made fun of the test. Yeah, he was breaking his balls the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> Yeah, he did. Yeah, um, I loved Mike Wallace, uh, his dad. I don't know if anybody here is old enough to have watched um, Mike Wallace on 60 Minutes, but he was always busting everybody's balls. He was great. Um, Apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> <laughs> You're old but not 60 minutes old. Um you like Marcellus Wallace. I really liked the journalist. He's passed away now. Also, Tim Russert um, on Meet the Press. <clears throat> I used to get up every Sunday morning and watch him. Watch him. Oh, Grandmaster Ben Feingold <laughs> challenged you. Yeah, I don't want to play you, Ben. <laughs> Too easy for you, I guess. He always gives me the beat down. <laughs> what about on chess.com? I mean, I have... Um, Azaras has been waiting patiently. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I should. I'm very happy that you did challenge me, Ben, and I'll play you next. How about that? <laughs> yeah, why don't you get a Azaras? He, they challenged you rated Twice. and unrated. All right, I'm going to play Azaras and then I'll play Ben. Um, we've had many presidents with serious health problems, and the White House doctors always give them a clean bill of health. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Interesting, if true. Well, yeah. I mean, I guess that is privileged. I don't know. I feel like it shouldn't be. You know, the health of the president is kind of that does seem of national importance. That does seem something. It's not we like he's a about. private citizen. Yeah. But, well, everybody has different opinions, I guess. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Let me get out of here first. Pretty good play so far. Oh, he's chatting there. Just making up moves. I don't know what I'm playing. I think you're <laughs> playing chess. I would say. I'm just making up moves too. So, um, right. solid stuff. 
solid as E-Rock. <clears throat> Let me see. Got rid of that isolated queen pawn, huh? Mm-hmm. That's what I was... Smart. Move it on over <laughs> to the e-file. Really good play this game. Both players pretty solid. People love to play queen b3 against you, huh? I guess so. <laughs> um, <clears throat> trying to bang my queen. <laughs> Always a good thing. Alan says, go Karen. Hey, Alan. Thank you. Uh, I knew that was going to be the move. <laughs> Me too. Well, I, I just wanted to, you know. Get well, out. now you've fee and cut out your queen, so <laughs> yeah. it should all be good at that point. I love fee and cuddling my queen. Although fee and cuddled rook is really the best. Uma's and Mansi. Yeah, that's from the show Archer. Not the your son Archer, but yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, I need to go. Obviously. Knife f5, yes. Knife f5 was a good move there. It definitely had some threats. But Karen is uh, deftly avoiding these forks, which is pretty nice. Is it Karen Atlanta Chess Club? No, it's Karen ATL Chess Club. Pam, not a, not the whole Atlanta, just <laughs> ATL. <clears throat> oh yeah, yeah. See the character's name's Archer, and the voice actor is H. John Benjamin. And get a little lift. <clears throat> Do a little dance. <laughs> Make a little luft. <laughs> I was thinking of that other dumb song. Da -da 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 -da. I can't think of the name of it. Like a dance, salsa dancing kind of a song. I don't know it. Maybe. You know it. Oh, I can't think of it right now. Um... Dang, you made him play a tactic against you. I hate when that happens. <clears throat> see. Go here. I don't know what's right. I don't really want to take. But then... I'm gonna go 
Jadi oke kemarin. Jonathan likes our stream. Thanks, Jonathan. Yay, thank you, Jonathan. Assuming you're referring to our stream <laughs> that you're currently watching. Sometimes, you know, people will respond to something earlier. Yeah. And so I'm not sure if they're, you know, <laughs> just saying that on its own or they're referring to somebody else's stream, mm -hmm. for example. Always play King F8. I got a little bit low on time now. That's true, but you're catching mm -hmm. up because they're slowing it down. Mm -hmm. Realizing that their knight is a little stuck, I guess. Oh, but here comes a big check, like it's payday. Not the candy bar either. Let's see here. I think so, Indy. I do believe you're correct there. I'm not sure about it because I'm not worried about rook c8 check. Okay, let's see. Go over here. Oh, crap. <laughs> 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 All right, fine. Kangaroo spamming the emote. <laughs> <laughs> It's too late. I waited too late to go fast. Really solid. You could still do it. Just go fast. Make some pre-moves. Come on, pre-move. There you go. That's a good pre-move. You can do it. There you go. Free move. How's it going, the real up. MC? Nice. Oh. All good right. game. That was a pretty good game. Yeah, I, thought. I still went too slow. Darn. Hey, the real MCLPT. Um, when will you do a face reveal? Uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Good game, Azaris. Would that was that you trying not to learn one, two, three? Yeah. Oh. Definitely. I didn't even know that. Because <laughs> we played before. I guess I've maybe I knew it and I forgot. Um, what time is it? It's 5.40. Okay, we're in good shape. <laughs> you want to look at this Yeah, one? definitely. Um, hang on one second, though. Ben, um, let's see. I definitely have to be done by 6 because I have to go um, pick up my older son. When are you streaming? Later? Or? Oh, we've got the class. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it has to be later. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. I was just trying to... Okay, anyway, go ahead. He said 8 to 11. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Now, here you should play C6. It's funny because usually you play C6 when you shouldn't, but here you should because <laughs> you already got out your bishop, so you don't really need to play so aggressively on the king oh, side. Oh, okay. But I think C5 might be okay, although I would probably take with a piece here so you don't get an isolated pawn. Mm -hmm. Knight takes or queen takes both look somewhat playable. I don't really see a problem with either of those moves. Yeah. Although okay. there might be a problem with knight takes, e4, bishop takes, and then queen check, forking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks... I don't know if that works or not. Frightening. It looks like it does work. Well, anyways, you could play queen takes then. Mm -hmm. But, okay, pawn takes is okay, but this isn't the best square for your bishop in this pawn structure. It'd even be better here, for example, yeah. like in your last game. Mm -hmm. I almost moved back there, too. This all seemed pretty good. Yeah, I would kind of avoid trades if I had black, because you have more space. 
you have a pawn on your fourth rank, mm -hmm. and he, they don't. Their pawn is on their third rank. So you have more space in the center you don't want to trade. And you have a worse pawn structure you don't want to trade when you have a worse pawn structure. Really? Yeah. In an end game, it's easiest to exploit your bad pawn structure. In a middle game, your bad pawn structure is less bad. Oh, I see what you're saying. But in, in an end game, it's a little so easier. So in the end game, I might want to trade off if I have a bad pawn structure? No, saying? that's the opposite of what. In an, you don't want an end game with a bad pawn structure. I know, but I'm saying like if I found myself in one, mm -hmm. which I often do, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> would the strategy be different than the middle game where I would want to try to trade off bad pawns there or no? You're saying I'm like, talking about trading pieces. Like oh, bishops. Thought, oh, I thought you were saying trade off the pawns. No, see, you play bishop here to trade these oh, bishops. Okay, That's okay. what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, okay. Yeah, you confused. always want to trade off your bad pawns. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, all right. But what I'm saying is the more simplified the position is, the so easier the, it is for them to exploit your pawn structure. Okay, so in the middle game, you're saying I shouldn't be trading off the pieces. Yeah. But... Okay. Because you're going to have a bad pawn structure, and that's the easiest for them to exploit in the end game. Um, I'm still confused about what you're trying to say. I can understand not trading off the pieces, mm -hmm. but I'm not sure how you're connecting that to the end game. When you trade pieces, you get closer to an end game. Um, right. So... So what I'm saying is you don't want an end game with a bad pawn structure. You'd rather it be a middle game with more pieces on the board. And... With the hope that the pawn structure is rectified before the end game? Well, or? you see, you can't really, like, fix your bad pawn structure without your opponent's help. Right. Like, in, like in this game, you traded on e4. That fixed your pawn structure. They didn't have to trade on e4, but they did. Right, right. So you can't really fix your pawn structure on your own. So assuming that your opponent doesn't allow you to fix your pawn structure is what I'm mm -hmm. saying. Assuming that they don't allow that, you'd rather it be a middle game because that's more complicated. Okay, okay. In a middle game, it, there's more stuff going on. But yeah. in an end game, they can focus on your pawn structure. It's a more simplified position. I see what you're saying. So, and so, yeah, so by trading, I'm just clearing it off and making it easier for yeah. to exploit my weakness. That's basically the same for any, like, static advantage, like a pawn structure or, like, the bishop pair. Mm -hmm. It's, like, pretty easy for if you see, like, two grandmasters playing and it's two bishops against bishop and knight the two bishops are going to grind them down in an endgame. Right. There are a lot of examples of that in chess history. Mm -hmm. So usually when you have like a permanent disadvantage, you don't want to go into an endgame. You want to keep as much material on the board as possible, if possible. Okay. So that's why I would probably, if, if possible, I would play a move like bishop b6, because I also like to control this square, d4. Mm -hmm. That's the most important square in the middle game here. Because you have an isolated d pawn, you can't control that square with a pawn. Right. So this square is very important, strategically speaking. Even still, it's not so bad. Like, you're probably just a little bit worse here. This was a good move. And I think that white just shouldn't trade. You can make improving moves like rook c1, queen d2 maybe, although queen d2 might run into knight e4 later. Maybe queen b3 like they played. And then get rook d1, rook c1. I would just play rook c1 here. There's no reason to mm -hmm. play a different move. Mm -hmm. But yeah, now you got to fix your structure, so you're probably pretty close to equal. I think I still like white because this knight's pretty good. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's very, very close to equal. Here I don't like b6 because you weaken c6. Mm -hmm. um, although they didn't really take advantage of that. You could defend your pawn without pushing it like a queen move Yeah. to defend it. Probably queen e7, even though that runs into knight here, then you can attack the knight and make them move away. And I don't really like my queen on these files, so that's why I'd prefer queen e7. You can also play like queen a6 or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's still a pretty boring position, so it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, like they can't play rook here, which would be a good move, but you would take it. Maybe they can, like, take here. <laughs> I don't know. No, then I think this move wins. Rook d3 would win there, I guess. If only I was sharper, then I'd be sure. Instead here. So knight f5 was a really good move because now they're forking you mm -hmm. six ways from Sunday. So yeah. you traded, which is correct. <laughs> and then you went uh, here, which looks good. That was good defense, I mm -hmm. thought. Now they're not really threatening anything. 
But H6 allowed them to take this because your pawn is overloaded. Yeah. So H6 is kind of a mistake. But when you played, they, they missed it. Then you played here, like, forcing them to do it, kind of. But it probably isn't good now because King H7 might win the knight. The knight's trapped there. This is what people were discussing in the oh, chat. Oh, I should have gone King H7. Yeah, because the knight's just trapped on that square. Mm -hmm. Can't go to G4 or F5. So this would have been like, a strong player would play this move like as a trap. Like seeing that they can do this, but right. then they win. Yeah. But you didn't even see they could take it. You were like, what? Well, I was. I didn't see the overloaded pawn, but I was worried that they were going to sack. But it's not even really much of a sack. It's pretty easy to get the knight back. I didn't mm -hmm. see that. But this is also the same uh, loose pieces that we were talking about. This knight is attacked and defended once, mm -hmm. so it's loose. And this pawn is the same way, attacked and defended once. If they're attacked and defended the same number of times, they're loose. And so that's why this tactic exists in the position, is mm -hmm. because of those loose pawn and piece. Also, this is loose too, but it doesn't matter, I guess. So yeah, king h7, you're okay. But yeah, you just play, look at, look, you can see the time here on the right. Mm -hmm. And you took way too much time on these two moves. This is why you lost. You spent over a minute on these two moves. Yeah. And that's why you ended up losing. Like here you got 57 seconds, then you had 18. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't spend 40 seconds when you got less than a minute left. Yeah, I forgot about the time. So that's really why you lost is just because those two moves you spent so much time. Yeah. And because here it's, I mean, you're losing, but, you know, it's complicated. They have a lot of work to do to win. Mm -hmm. But with no time, they're going to win for sure. Take all your pawns, you flag, and they make a queen. Didn't You didn't even try to stop them from queening because you had no time. Yeah. But yeah, the early middle game was, was really well played by both of you, I thought. Oh, okay. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, I earned the emoticon. Um, oh, I know, SJ. I was just uh, referencing that. I wasn't saying that you were <laughs> that you were trying to make fun of me or anything. Um, yeah, let me just. Tr I think um, we're gonna end soon, just because it's getting close to six. So let's go back mm -hmm. and see what chat's going on. Oh, no, we're too far back. <laughs> um, what? Oh, we got a. Uh... Oh, let me go back. A, do a donation, or 200 bits. <laughs> Thank you, GM Benjamin Feingold. I think you're my biggest fan. Karen doesn't play longer time controls on chess.com because, well, mostly people wouldn't really want to watch that. Yeah. 300 by Kiff. Thanks, also, Kif. Thank you, Kiff. Also, Ferdinand, I'm trying to get faster, um, and so I'm just playing a lot of three and five minute, which is more uncomfortable for me. Um, I lose a lot of games that um, – this was an example. I was losing on the board here, but a lot of times I do lose on time and I'm winning over the board. But I'm just trying to get a little faster. But in, when I play over the board um, chess, I like a good, you know, G90, G120, you know, three, four-hour game. Five <laughs> at the World Open when we went um, last summer. Uh, I can't remember how many rounds it is, but almost Nine. every yeah. So I think I had a buy one round because I was the I was the lowest rated and I was I was playing up two sections, but um, almost every single game went you know four and a half five hours. <laughs> Thank you, Kiff. I will. That's what I was thinking, C.L. Smith. Nine. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I do love a good long game. Um, but one, I got confused. I think that was at Foxwoods, though. One tournament, I got confused that I had to make um, 40 moves within a certain time frame. I can't remember now what the time control was. And I got confused. And I could have made it. Because all I had to do was check, but I um, didn't make it. I was so furious. Dang. He called my flag. Yeah. By trying not to learn. By trying not to learn. We're about to end in second anyway. Have oh, you're going out on, on the, the boat. boat? Oh, that sounds so much fun. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to stream soon. Yeah, that was Foxwoods. Yeah, for I hate to even think about that game. That was painful. Um, <laughs> well, we've all been there. I mean, that just made me so mad. That even happened to Magnus, remember? Yeah. He didn't know the time control, and he lost on time when he was winning. Yeah, I was, win I was winning, too. It was a really hard game, so I was disappointed because I had just um, made a move that had given me an advantage, and then he called my flag, and he, I, he felt so guilty. Very nice man. <laughs> I uh, would not feel guilty. Oh, he definitely. <laughs> I could just tell he felt really bad about it. I'd be like, flag. We were both <laughs> fighting so hard. And um, I was gracious, of course, but inside, you know, it was just furious. Not at him, but just about the situation. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking we'll go ahead and end because I have to be done by 6, and then Spencer has to get ready for the class. Mm -hmm. uh, let me put the, the link. If anybody wants to do a live class with us, on the Benoni, it's the third in a series. Spencer's teaching the finale. Um, actually, let me. It'll be in just about an hour, a little <laughs> over an hour. Yeah, we have. Um, let me get the link. Hang on one second, and I'll post the link uh, to register. It's not a free class. It does cost fifteen dollars unless you're a chess club member. But um, it's ten dollars if you're a chess club member. Yeah, ten dollars for. Oh, it's not the right link there we go but um you know if you don't have the money i get it we are posting these on youtube so you can watch it after the fact as well but it's still fun to do a live class so i'm just going to mention that here there's the link if you want to register nice and anyway i appreciate everybody all the bits subs i've got it one more time look at my beautiful <laughs> emotes there we go <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to go faster. And then let me see who I might raid. Oh, yeah. I got a quick raid going. Um, Anybody cool? Let's see. Dania. Who's... Dania's in there. Yeah, there's Naroditsky, um, Botez, Rosen. Um, oh, Rosen? Maybe yeah. You should, uh, maybe you should go for Rosen. Is that on my face or is that on? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's on the, the laptop. <laughs> Um, okay, I, I think I'll raid um, Naroditsky, but All right. um, you know, Rosen would definitely raid me back. I don't know that Naroditsky would raise me, raid me back, but, um, but Naroditsky is chess.com, so I'm going to raid him. That's my logic today, but I will raid Rosen another day because I know for a fact he would, he would raid me back because he's very nice that way. Anyway, bye, guys. Bye. See you soon. See you maybe on Ben's stream later. Bye.